Hi guys and welcome to the Tic-Tac-Toe 10 tutorial. My name is Brandon and I will show you how to play the game. Let's press start game right here. We're going to play a quick game versus a computer just so I can break down the concept of how to play the game. Okay. Choose starting position. Let's choose 2. You see the second board highlighted there. So before we get into it, let me talk about why we call it Tic-Tac-Toe 10. So if you can look at this one large grid here, it's one big one. We've got nine small grids embedded into this one big one. So if you take that nine and you add it to the one, we've got ten total grids that we play on, so we call the game Tic-Tac-Toe 10. All right? So uh, X starts the game, but before we even make a move, let me do a quick numbering convention with you guys. Let's call every upper left-hand cell one. Let's call this one two. Let's call this one three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. All right, so X can choose wherever they want to start the game. Let's choose four. All right, you see it X populated there, and the computer O has made its move. So what just happened was, if you take a look at my first move, which is this X inside of the one, two, three, fourth cell, right there. If you take a look at the large grid, and you count one, two, three, four, because I made my move inside of this small grid four, the next move that the computer makes must happen inside of this fourth large grid okay so this little four maps to one two three four so basically I sent the computer here alright so the computer made his move and he puts his O in the one position of this small grid so now my next move as you see is highlighted must happen somewhere inside of the first position which is highlighted there so if I move over here in three let's say he sends me down to eight let's say I send him over to seven then he sends me back up to four. So that's basically how moves are made. Every single move that you make controls where the computer moves next, and then every move that he makes controls where you move next. Okay? So the computer is here. Let's say I send him back down to seven. So I want to press here, I send him back down there. And you see that he has two moves populated in that seventh spot right there. So the object of the game is to be the first player to win tic-tac-toe inside of any one of these nine small grid cells. So let's say I send him right back down there to seven. He finishes the game right there. He's the first player to win tic-tac-toe inside of one of those nine grids and is thus the winner of the game. So that's tic-tac-toe 10 for you. Hope you guys have a lot of fun with it.